I recently got curious and wanted to see if there is a difference between GPU-based rendering or CPU-based rendering in Adobe Premiere Pro. I recorded 2 minutes and 10 seconds of Team Fortress 2 footage for the test. I first just converted the video to a different format and then timed it on two different computers. One was a school computer and the other one was my personal rig. My personal rig, Red Carbon, has an i5-6600K clocked at 3.5 GHz, it has 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and a GTX 1070. The Dell, a Precision Tower 3620, has an i7-7700K clocked at 3.6 GHz. It also has 16 gigs of RAM. As for the graphics card, I wasn't so sure myself, but since I have opened up these computers to upgrade them in the past, I think it's either a Fire Pro W4100 or a Fire Pro W2100. There were two different sets of tests. The first one was a no visual effects test, which just converted the video to a different video format. The other one was a visual effects test, where I added a bunch of different visual effects. I will link the project down below so you can see what they were. I did each test three times, except for the visual effects test, as I ran out of time to test on the school computers, and I wanted to keep it consistent throughout. I only tested those twice, even though it is still a decent average. Here are the results. I will not ramble off the numbers, as you can check those out yourself in the description below, and it would make the video incredibly long. The results were interesting. With the no special effects test, there was no time difference between the GPU rendering method and the CPU rendering method between my main rig, Red Carbon, and the school computer, the Dell. With the effects test, however, there was a difference, a huge time difference between using the GPU and CPU. Now you may be wondering, why is this the case? Why is there so little difference when there's no visual effects, but then there's a ton of difference between the GPU and CPU in the special effects test? That's because GPU rendering isn't technically completely GPU rendering. It is a CPU assisted rendering method where the GPU handles visual effects while the CPU does most of the heavy lifting. This is further proven by the fact that my computer only has an i5 while the school computer has an i7. And even though my GPU is far superior to the possible GPU in the school computer, I was still getting horrible times. So in conclusion, which rendering method should you use? Definitely use GPU rendering, as even though certain projects might not benefit from it, the majority of your projects will, such as this YouTube video, which was rendered using GPU assisted rendering. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.